I think I'm recording again. Cool, cool. There's the levels and all that. Cool. Well, since that first part was only like 40 minutes or something, I'm going to go on with the second part tonight. So I'm feeling pretty good. It's 12.20 though, and I do have to get up tomorrow. <sighs> hmm. Oh well, I'll go. Bring this back here. I remain nervous that they feel they have to tell me the month. The sun's down, but it's still too early to meet up. What to do? Maybe I should eat something while I can. It never really mattered what I stuffed in my mouth before, but... I've gotten some practice in while taking care of Ami. Wonder what I'll get around. Never bought. Wonder what I'll get around. Oh, gosh. Okay. Wonder what I've got around. I never bothered restocking the fridge this past week. Can't make much, but maybe. Oh, oh. What? What am I feeling? Is it Mystery Food X? Weird. My face is all itchy. And hot. Is there something on my face? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wonder what's going to be on his face. Um... I don't know. I cannot guess. I bet it will be something horrifying. Here we go. I slowly reach up to touch my cheek. Something bites me. It's like a mouth chomped my finger, and it's definitely not something I'm controlling. Is it all the mouths from the soy episode? The hell? It is the mouths from the soy episode. A whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Spigro. He takes a boat and starts rowing. But where is the boat taking him? <laughs> That's a shit story. I've heard a lot of stories. What was that? This doesn't make sense. What's going on? What's happening with my face? I run into the bathroom and stare in the mirror. Jump scare. Come on, game. You got it in you? Oh. No, there's no mouth anywhere. Well, I mean, you got one. Come on. That's something. Can't be. I swear it was there. I can still feel the pinch of the teeth on my finger. Shit, what the hell is happening to me? Just... Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's... That clear tone. The melody is... It's Kaguya's flute! It's like she timed it. But that's fine by me. I have some things I'm gonna need her to answer for me. It's deja vu all over again as I run out. Wait, what? Come on, Axis. It's deja vu all over again? That's just embarrassing. As I run outside following the sound of the flute. Oh, I wonder if that's uh, Spike's... Motorcycle, I keep seeing at the, the corner of that building. I'm running through the underpass when the sound of a flute suddenly stops. A cold breeze not matching the season blows down the dark concrete path. <laughs> hey, she's kind of cute. 
Oh yeah, cat girl. I don't even recognize Kakuya is there until she's in front of me, silent with no hint of her presence, like she'd always been there. It's nice to see you again. I hear her words, but her face doesn't move an inch. I was right. She's not human. She's like a doll. You're looking for the Urashima woman. So it's time for the tale then. Kakuya wants to know what's going to happen. That phrase. So you're responsible for those mouths. Like last time, I can barely get my voice to work. All my muscles are tensed up. I can't move a finger. You heard the mouth's voice. That's so amazing. Yuri and Ami couldn't hear them. What are they? It's a curse. First, it's time. Then, it's almost the finale. It ends with happily ever after. When that happens, it's all over. You'll disappear. So it's a countdown to my death. Hauzuki said that spirits want to strike fear in humans. This curse is how she does it. The Urashima woman is consumed by a grudge. If you learn of her grudge, then the Urashima woman will appear, disappear, that too. You will win the game. But if you destroy the Urashima woman, the grudge could be left behind. What does that mean? What happens if it's left behind? That's a secret Kakuya won't tell. But you'll be okay. Kakuya will forgive you because you won the game. But anyone else... <laughs> what are you saying? Kakuya's always watching you. Always. She melts into the darkness and is gone. God damn it. None of this makes sense. If I uncover the Urashima woman's grudge, then I guess I win the game. But if her grudge is left behind, then something terrible will happen. It's Amanome. Hey, you're late. We were supposed to meet, remember? Me aside, to be so bold as to make famous I to make me aside, to be a, as to be so bold as to make a famous idol wait. Think highly of yourself, huh? I need to take lessons from you. Ugh. Yeah, I'll be right there. I hang up before he can reply and start running toward the station. The panic coursing my coursing my veins hastens my steps. The lights are on when I finally arrive at Black Rabbit. It's only Amanome and Hazuki inside, though. No sign of Aunt Natsumi. Don't look so suspicious, Spike. Ms. Natsumi happened to come by as we were waiting outside for you. I told her about how we were meeting up, and she let us in. Sadly, she couldn't stay. I see. You okay? You're usually raring to go, but you don't look so good. Did you get something at a haunted place and a ghost ended up possessing you? Did you get something? Did you get up to something at a haunted place and a ghost ended up possessing you? That happened to me once. My body felt heavy for three days. Guess not. So what did happen? <laughs> I met Kakuya again. I recap for them everything she told me about the curse that appeared on my body, how I have a limited time before it devours me, 
and my winning condition for the game. And does that mean if we don't deal with Hiroshima before time runs out, you're going to die? Damn it. With all that happened with Yuri, I'd always just thought it was a possibility, but I didn't think we'd be so pressed for time. I'm surprised. They immediately believed everything I told them. Guess that makes sense, though. They both already accept the fact that the Urashima woman exists. We've entered the world of spirits and ghosts, and there's no turning back. This means we better prepare ourselves for our trip to Yamato Shrine tonight. I should take measures to make sure nothing gets in our way. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me for a second. Amanome leaves the bar and goes outside. What's he planning? I recognize that smile. I'm getting a bad feeling. Hazuki and I are left to wait at the bar. A minute passes and I realize Hazuki is staring holes in my face. Something on my face? <sighs> Can I ask you one thing? What? You look pretty calm to me, but aren't you scared? This is a weird system. I keep saying this, but well, okay, let's not say I keep saying this. I've said this at least twice, maybe three times, but it's hard to tell what I'm supposed to say here. Like, aren't I scared? Is this like, yes, I am scared or no, don't worry about it. Look at me. Or is it like, yes, I'm very upset. I'm also psychopathic. Look at me. Oh. Oh, I'm so angry. <sighs> like, am I going to be like saying, hey, back off, bitch, if I pick this one, you know? Or am I going to be saying, yes, indeed, I am scared with this one. I'll just go neutral. You're not phased at all. That's amazing. Hey, speaker. I won't let you die, no matter what. I'll do everything I can. Ask me anything. I've got some things to ask. Hazuki. We only just met, but I want to know more about you. Uh, uh, in the supernatural sense, of course. Anyone who can use bloodmetry is fascinating, obviously. She seems to be panicking. Is she rambling just to convince herself of something? <laughs> I'm back. Oh, Hazuki, you look rather warm. Did something happen? You're mad. <laughs> You're imagining things. Or maybe it's because you have a ghost. There could be a ghost that died from heat stroke wandering around. <laughs> I see. We'll go with that then. Pardon me. Mr. Sage said call me here. Marahashi follows Amanobi inside. That head, it looks familiar. Are you from that one time? Oh, right. Sorry about me before. You're cute and I look so much like one. Oh, I went too far. Please forgive me. It's fine. Spiegel beat you up over it, so we're even. Why are you even here? I had him look into all the incidents that have occurred at Yamashou Shrine. I know he doesn't look it, but this guy's side his job is information. <laughs> Mr. Sanchez is right. Just come to me. You need to know anything about the shit. isn't going down. He needs that. Anyway, no, you have to shine. Have any of you heard of Kasoji pregnant woman? There's a pregnant woman named Himeko Shimuzi. Pretty midlife. Yeah, I know of it. This is the first time I've heard the woman's name, though. I know about it, too. The pregnant woman was in, put in a suitcase and disposed of on Ryugyo Island, right? You guys are very informed. Um, it looks like you know. What should I? Murahashi, you know what happens if you embarrass me, right? Yes, sir, I do. Then what about this? A culprit? Midwife? A strong attachment to people? This is pretty messed up, but. What is it with the ugly dick silver pieces that add me? I'm sorry. What the hell? Could it be... 
Was she comforting herself with them since she couldn't have a child herself? You guys see what I was wondering? After she killed a pregnant horse, she got her hands on a baby that was still alive. She didn't need her substance anymore. So apparently, I've got rid of the fetuses in a shaman lake. That damn lake again. This is crazy. My thoughts exactly. This combined with sinking the suitcase, it, it seemed like the lake is a favorite spot for the culprit. Investigators searched for the fetuses too, but like the woman's body, they couldn't find them. They were so small, they probably became fish food. Ugh, oh, don't be so blunt about something so terrible. Oh, you're surprisingly delicate. Seems like Amanome is totally fine with creepy talk, as long as it isn't ghosts. Let's have that report. Did I help at all? Um. Hmm. He told us about the, like the ba the babies and the dead fetuses and stuff. I don't see that how that really helps us. I want more. Oh, so it's not good. Regardless, our plans haven't changed. We'll sneak into Yamato's shrine again and follow the Orishima One's trail. We've got the ore now, so we should check out Ryugo Island. The only snag then is how to get inside. The guard on the guard today is the same as two days ago. All oh, right, the Otaku Idol. True, it helped us immensely if he's the one watching the entrance tonight. Otaku Yamagami, huh? He's not good. Murahashi, how do you know him? He's no longer a fan club. So he's a friend? No, never this no way. Yamagami only talks about Momo's boobs. He goes on and on about how wonderful they are and pat It's like he's insulting her. Momo's charms come from her beautiful legs and finely shaped out. Be quiet. I couldn't care less about your terrible... Terrible taste. The fuck, dude. Oops, sorry, I got too hot. I got a yummy, yummy was drinking inspiration on the shot. It seems he's missing or something. He needs some weird dude that's going on. I'm drunk. No, 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 I didn't kill him. He went missing after Amanome and I escaped. What happened to the guard after we left? Two nights ago, there was one other person at the shrine besides us. If he was patrolling around the lake, then they might have encountered each other. No, can't be. Why don't we head over to the shrine? Let's see how everything stands first, then we can think of a way in. We'll be less, we'll let, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be in for a pleasant surprise. It might be less guarded than we expect. A guard up and vanished. I think it'd be even more tightly guarded. There were a lot there yesterday, but I do agree that we should still go. There, we take too long in this and you'll die. Forcing our way in might end up being an option. If you go going to struggle with you stay here, Murahashi. You stand out even worse than Hazuki. Use a laptop and find out what you can about the pregnant woman incident. If you encounter anything new, let us know. Yes, I would be kind of with me. I would ask you if you blame, but be careful. Murahashi's an obedient underling, like a dog. Aminomi's really brought him to heel. The three of us leave Brack La <laughs> Brack Labbit. <laughs> the three of us leave Black Rabbit, taking our usual path toward the shrine. We arrive back at the shrine again today at midnight. <laughs> ad-libbing or something. 
we're headed to Ryugu Island, right? You're almost out of time, so we have to row it though tonight, no matter what. I hid the oars two nights ago. We can pick them up and head to the boat dock. Yeah, sounds good. Amanome? What's wrong? Nothing. Just thinking about something. Huh? The lights are off in the security station. I don't sense any movement. I think no one's there. Woo, how lucky is that? I'll go check just in case. She dashes over to the security station. It's delightful to watch. What are the chances that no one's here? Maybe Karma's wor finally working for us? Oh, you don't believe me? People still win the lottery even though there's only a one in a million chance. I'm sure ch coincidences like this happen all the time. Surely that window isn't smashed open. Amanoe's phone rings. Hello? Yeah, that's perfect. It's just for a night. They'll have to deal with it. Sort it all out with our higher ups too. They start bitching, show them that photo. Oh, and don't tell Murahashi, he's an idiot. Oh, hey, sorry for that. Sounds like the Samoyed back at the house was sick. Sam what language is that? Sounds like the Samoyed back at the house was sick, so that they were asking where the medicine was. Bullshit. Sounds more like Amanome pulled some strings to create the situation we're in now. I'm back. What's up? You're making a strange face. It was all very strange. The window was broken and the lock pried open. The whole place was a mess. It felt like a break-in and the inhabitants were kidnapped. A drunk must have flown into a rage and broke the door open. The guy fell and injured himself, so the guards dutifully escorted him to the hospital. I'm just spitballing here, but it's probably something like that. Well, whatever. One way or another, now's our chance. Let's get our butts inside ASAP. Hell, why don't we just all go in? No, someone needs to stay and be the lookout. Someone could come by, notice the guards are missing, and then call the police. Besides, three people are probably too much for the boat. It looks unreliable. True, it'd be awful if it capsized. We should decide who stays behind then. Asshole. I think it'd be better if I stayed behind today. Yes. Huh? Why? Well, uh, how should I put this? Um, I just have a bad feeling. Huh? What are you saying? Ugh, whatever. Let's just hurry and decide. Amanome or Hazuki? Who do I take with me on the investigation? Can't save my game. Tried, but it wouldn't let me. Well, uh, asshole, cute girl, asshole, yeah, I'll take the girl. Amanomi, we'll need you to keep an eye out here. Alright, let's go. Alright, had to go there for a bit, uh, I'm back. Oh, that was easy. I was thinking I should investigate that first scene a bit better, but I guess we're already in here. Ah. Okay, let's head to the boat dock. Oh no. Oh no. The wind shifts, and my ears catch what sounds like a baby crying. I can't tell where it's coming from, but it doesn't seem far.
glancing around me, there's nothing that could be the source of the sound. What could that be? There's no way a baby would be here this late at night, right? Ugh. Suddenly I remember the story Murahashi told us earlier. How the murdering midwife disposed of a bunch of fetus corpses. <laughs> fetus corpses, that's hard to say. In the waters of Hiroshima Lake. I'm sure it's not. The crying stops. I'm just going to go back over here and investigate things a little bit. Okay. There's nothing to do here. And let's check out the fountain. Yeah. But hold on. Okay. Now there's some spooky on the left and some further spooky on the right. So let's try going right first. Hmm. No spooky. All right, fine, fine. We'll try the left path. Still no spooky. All right. Maybe it's all over. Everything will just be peaceful from now on. What if this is still broken? Oh. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Uh, let's check out this boat. Let's check out this boat. Oh, okay. Let's apply oars on boat. I set up the boat oars. All right, let's go. Whoa, a second voice line from her. I climb aboard Hasuki. Uh, with Hasuki. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I see it. Do you see it? Of course you see it. Hey, did you hear something just now? N like in the direction of that... Disem that ghost thing to the left. <laughs> hmm, not really. Am I imagining things then? What could this possibly be? Yeah, exactly. Nice try, game. Nice try. I have to work up, you know, get up early in the morning to whoa, full fast one on me. What's this? A black shadow slips by in the water. Was that a koi fish? Thought it was kind of too big for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice try. I bet the same koi fish will come by. Look at that. Check out this pipe. There's a metal pipe sticking out of the lake. I wonder why this is here. Who lays pipe out in the water like this? All right. Come on now. Give me the spookins. Or, oh, I guess I can just move myself, huh? Well, now I'm really curious. I don't miss anything. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe, are we still like at the dock? That makes sense. Okay, so that's why there's pipes sticking up here. Uh, <laughs> why would there be pipes in the middle of a pond? That is suspicious, but yeah. Hmm, what am I supposed to be spooked by here? Is that Tori gate gonna come down and bite me? 
The shrine gate is set up to look like it's floating on the lake. Maybe the proper way to pass it is to steer the boat through but before getting to the island. Yeah, yeah that too. Mm, let's... Okay. Nothing? There is nothing to see here. Nowhere. That's kind of a weird place. Well, it'll it'll become story relevant at a later date. My favorite time of year is Halloween. Because Halloween is when you can buy like 10 kilos of candy for a ten dollars no sometimes less than that no I guess no uh, nah, that'd be like hundred dollars but it's still a great deal by volume or by weight by mass let's say oh I tie the boat to the pier and step onto the island I take a look around yep that's an island. Not that it's necessary. This place is so small I can see everything without turning. <sighs> There's no way to describe the sound of the sigh she just made. Just look at this eerie atmosphere. This building reminds me of a Chinese style shrine. Doesn't this just get you incited, excited? It does, doesn't it, right? Yes, I am very excited at this moment. Ugh. You're staring at the sanctum, what is it? This is it. This is the place I saw in my vision. What? The suitcase with the pregnant woman inside was thrown away here. Is that so? But the police found that suitcase, right? I thought they said it was empty. Yeah. If when the pregnant woman died, she turned into the Urashima woman, then there might be some kind of clue left in this place. I know what happened, of course. The cops showed up. The Japanese police, of course. Japanese police showed up, ruled it a suicide, and went on their way. It's an unusually shaped, shaped shrine. <laughs> the walls and roof look like... Look... Look kind of... <laughs> oh, gosh. The walls and roof look kind of Chinese-inspired, and the pillars raised higher in case of a flood. Okay. What's here? A small sanctum built in the center of the island. I reach out and touch the double doors. <gasps> well, what's wrong? Oh no, it's just... The door is soaked. It surprised me is all. If it's wet, then is the Hiroshima woman here? Maybe. Th then want to go in? We can't. As expected, it's locked. Are we going to have to go back for the douche? Really? Ghosts could phase right through... No, I'm sorry. I apologize. That is the correct use of phase. Ghosts could phase right through it, but lowly humans have physical bodies. I could maybe break something like this down. It would take... I could maybe break something like this down. It'd take some time, but they're wooden doors. Easy enough to destroy. Could also break in by knocking down another area. That's probably not a good idea. I should avoid making loud sounds. It's midnight. There's a chance the neighbors will call the cops. You're right. Someone might hear the sound and call the cops. Well, that too, but... The gods might punish you for desecrating it. Oh, you mean like that? Whatever, let's just look for the key. 
The security guard usually has the keys to the buildings, but... There's that baby crying sound again. I quickly grants around the small island. <laughs> I quickly grants around... I quickly glance around the small island, but I'm not surprised to see not to see a baby anywhere. This is definitely a supernatural phenomenon. We have to find out what's causing it. Wait, you're serious? Very serious. It's a baby. It would be a horrible travesty if we ignored the little thing. Ugh. I am curious, I guess. The crying abruptly stops. Show me the baby. Where? Whoa. What's that? Looks like there's two cherry blossom uh, trees on this island. I see there's new growth, judging by the leaves. Okay. A stone lantern that looks relatively new. Nothing unusual about it. Doesn't seem like anyone's come to clean it lately as there's moss growing on it. Feels like something's under the lantern. I dig around in the grass with my foot. Oh, look there. Something's moving on the ground. I'm sorry. Oh, look there. Something's moving on the ground. <gasps> Stealing myself, I look down. A turtle? Something strange was on its back. What's with its shell? Oh, oh my god, what should I do? It really looks like a person's face. Amazing! A real, a real human face turtle. I can't tell if she's scared or happy about this. But, you know, doesn't it remind you of a baby's face? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> An uncomfortable thought crosses my mind. The turtle lives in Hiroshima Lake, where all sorts of things are abandoned. Could this face be a discarded fetus? Hmm. I wonder if this little guy is where that crying baby sound we heard earlier came from. Maybe. Uh, here we go. Oh, there, there. Uh, Hazuki, what are you doing? I'm giving it a hug. It's the best way to calm a crying baby. Hazuki beams down at the turtle cradled to her chest. I've had an acting role as a big sister who took care of a baby, so just leave it to me. Even the director said I'd make a wonderful mother. Not exactly the issue here. Don't touch suspicious things. You'll get no help from me if you end up cursed. Er, you've got a point. She places the human-faced turtle back on the ground. I kind of feel bad leaving it here. It's so cute. In what way? I blink, and the turtle with the creepy shell disappears. Uh, uh, are you kidding me? Whoa, a supernatural phenomenon. Maybe the little guy really was the ghost of a baby. If so, could I have soothed it enough with motherly warmth that it's able to rest in peace? Uh, you can smother me in warmly lump. What's wrong? You look more somber than usual. Hey, Spigru. We heard a baby crying on our way here, right? Could that... Might have been another human-faced turtle. The, the poor thing must be looking for its mommy, too. We have to help it. I'm really curious if there's an actual Japanese thing about human-faced turtles. Ugh. <sighs> 
She's gained some strange sense of duty now that her maternal instincts have fired up. Chill out, Hazuki. It's not important. We gotta find the key to the Tamate Sanctum first. I glance pointedly at the red door in front of me. The oddly wet door. There must be something inside that's connected to the Hiroshima woman. Well, if anyone would have it, it'd be the security guard. Oh yeah, the missing security guard. He was the one who told me about Ryugu Island. Ugh. That idol otaku guard was trying to impress Momokurose. So maybe he went to Tamate Sanctum with the key. Let's look for the guard. He might still be in the park somewhere. Okay. Though if he is in the park, I doubt he's still alive. I need to be ready for anything. Okay. So, I guess we gotta find that guard. And that guard ain't here. Can I save? Can. Nope, 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 nope. Uh... Oh, that is that button. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Weird. I must be forgetting how to save the game. Whatever. this I try to check how deep it is but it's too murky and dark to really tell the shrine gate is set to look up like it's floating up the shrine gate is set up to look like it's floating on the lake maybe the proper way to pass is to steer the bow through before and like that yeah 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 okay nothing here either and Mr. Guard. Mr. Guard. Is that you, Mr. Guard? A black shadow slips by in the water. Was that a koi fish? Though it was kind of big to be one. Kind of big for one. All right. Nothing here. Let's go back to where the spooky things happen. There it is. I hear a baby crying again. Ah, oh, the baby's calling. Please help me find it, Subiguru. Fine. It shouldn't divert us too much if we keep looking for the guard at the same time. The crying immediately stops. There could be a turtle in the pond, right? No? Hmm, okay, okay. Well, hmm? studying the ground near the fountain, we find a human-faced turtle. So it was you who was crying, but this one seems different from the one on Ryugo Island. Huh? You can tell? What, you can't? This little guy is a teensy bit more handsome. They look exactly the same. She immediately scoops up the turtle. Here you are. I'm sorry you had to wait. Mommy's here now, so don't cry. Peekaboo! Azuki is making silly faces at the turtle she's got cradled to her chest. What an ugly face. That's not a good look for an idol. Shut it. Once she's seen the turtle lulled, she places it back on the ground. The human-faced turtle then disappears. Rest in peace, little one. Azuki lowers her head and prays toward the spot where the turtle vanished. Oh, come on. 
We need to find the guard, not save turtles, damn it. Gritting my teeth, I work to stay calm. The situation is nothing like yesterday. The countdown to my death has started. Wasting time like this will just... Hmm. Since it has to do with the park, then maybe the little ones know something. You don't mean the human-based turtles, do you? Hehe, <laughs> that's right. If we find one again, I'll ask about the guard for you. Ugh. Okay. On to the search for human-faced turtles. No, human-faced turtles. They're not human-faced turtles. That would be weird. All right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, nothing there. Could it be over here? There it is. I wonder if it's scripted such that it's always the last place you look. I hear a baby crying. The crying immediately stops. Where's the new hot spot? Is it right there? There it is. Looking behind the bush, <laughs> we find a human faced turtle. Aha! Found you! She immediately scoops up the turtle. Good evening, little guy. You must have been so scared here all by yourself. She hugs the turtle tightly. Hey, little guy. A man disappeared in this park. Can you tell mommy if you know anything? Once she's deemed the turtle lulled, she places it on the ground. The human-faced turtle then disappears. We're counting on you, little one. There we go. Let us see if the turtle shall answer our prayer. I think I lost some brain cells. Don't look at me like that. It hurt me to say, too. What was that voice right now? There's a man's voice mixed in with the sound of the wind that blew in from the lake. A low groan, like he's in pain. That wasn't me imagining things, right? Yeah. It came from over by Urashima Lake. Can't he just say the lake at this point? It's right in front of us. Ugh! Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. It's almost the finale of the tale. Brought by turtles you saved. Here you are at Ryuga Island. I wonder if this rhymed in Japanese. Shit. What's wrong? The curse. It's back again. Those the whispers said it's time before, but now they're saying it's almost the finale. Death is breathing down my neck now. I'm out of time. We gotta hurry to Urashima Lake. Right. Now, see, like I was saying in the previous video, if this was an ordinary video game, if this happened, it was like a shooter or something, you know, third person shooter, and that exact situation just happened, we need to rush back to Urashima Lake for some indistinct reason, right? The right thing to do here would be to first go to the right and the bottom and then towards where the emergency is happening. But I am pretty sure, I'm quite sure, that there's nothing special waiting for us there. But let's look just in case. Okay, definitely nothing special over there. Okay. 
and nothing special over here. See, that's good. There, there shouldn't be like those weird uh, things that take you out of the game. That sucks. Don't make me think about the fact that I'm playing a game. All right, let's go. I climb aboard with Hazuki. Show me the spooky... Nothing? All right. Show me... Oh. Hmm? Something wrong? Well, I think there's something floating over there. Let's go see. Uh... Uh... What's this? What's this? Something big floats on the surface of the water. That shape, it couldn't be. I take a step closer to take a better look and... Art in this game is pretty good. Eh? Eek! Hazuki's hands rush to her mouth to cover her scream. Illuminated in the ring of light is very clearly a human corpse. No way. My heart is thundering right out of my chest. Now I've been through some rough shit, but I have... Never seen a corpse like this. It's like he's got a beak or something. Like he's turning into a turtle. He, he, his face. She points a trembling member. <laughs> she points a trembling finger at the corpse's head. What, what, what's wrong with his face? She has a point. It does look strange. His mouth is abnormally pointed for some reason, almost like it's a turtle's mouth. Speak, Guru. This man. He's the missing guard, my fan, the guy from two days ago. I knew it. It's him. It makes sense that it took her a minute to realize. His face looks completely different from when we were from when he was alive. Wasn't his name Yamagami or something? No wonder he didn't answer Maruhish, Maruhashi's calls. But why did he appear now? Do you think the little ones showed us? I don't know. Could be a coincidence. So what now? I'll take a closer look. You probably shouldn't watch. Yeah, okay. I drag the corpse ashore with the oar and start searching through the, his things. In his chest pocket is a small key with a plastic tag. The tag reads, Yama uh, Tamate Sanctum. There's the key. Wait a minute. We dragged him back to shore <laughs> and then we ditched him out there again. How's it going? Find anything? Just what we need. He had the key to Tamate Sanctum. I knew it, so it was true. He tried to take a look at Tamate's shrine for Momokuruse. So the Urashima woman probably... <sighs> no point in regretting it now. I know. Okay. Back we go, back we go. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Let's go in there. Small sanctum built in the center of the island. I use the Tomate Sanctum key to open the door. Well, can we go in now? Uh, oh, right. 
right, got pressed forward now. This place is smaller than I expected. The cramped insides hold a bunch of religious items. I can even see a handful of household altars. But there's one thing that obviously isn't that obviously doesn't belong. It's another stroller. I can't believe there's an, one here. I knew it. The Urashima woman came to this sanctum. There's got to be some kind of important secret hidden here. Oh no, don't go dumpster diving again. How embarrassing. Oh, that was weird. That had a face on it. I think. A large turtle shell decorates the wall. What did I just say? I said it, sort of. It's too big to stuff inside my bag. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. It's a slightly dirty stroller that looks like the one we saw a few times in the park. I dig through the dirty fabric inside the stroller. An amulet falls out. Maybe this one won't be a useless piece of shit. Momo, oh, well, lady. This came from inside the stroller, so it probably belongs to the Hiroshima woman. Okay. Let's have a look at these things we've acquired. Eh. Hey. Nope. Eh. Hey. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we're gonna have to deal with uh, the dead guy's ghost now, and we'll have to like give him the strap to appease his spirit. Hmm. Creepy. Does that mean I can blood matriotize this? No? Okay. Guess I can whack the gong. Alright, the mirror, sure, that too. A mirror decorates the altar. It's been cleaned regularly. It's not cloudy or dirty. Mm, okay. Across from the mirror is a rolled up piece of paper. When I spread out the paper, inside is a syringe with some dark stains on it. Okay, now I can blood Matria tries it. The stain on this syringe could be blood. <laughs> I reluctantly grab the dirty syringe. Obtained. Oh my gosh, the joke is real. He finally found some dirt. <sighs> All right. Yeah. What are the odds? I take a deep breath and touch the stain. What a stubborn mother. I've already told you, at this rate your child will be in danger. 
See, it's crying less than before. What? 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 No! Oh, my baby! My baby! Ugh. Good God. That's quite a picture. It seems to be some kind of delivery room. A woman who looks like a midwife is holding on to a baby. For such a desperate situation, she appears to be enjoying herself, like she's having fun. We must take this child to the doctor. Really? The baby's gonna be okay? Do it now! Save my baby! Hurry! Oh goodness, what's with that attitude? I dislike it when people order me around. What should I do? It might already be too late, to, even if I get the doctor involved. If that's the case, then I may as well. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Please, save, save the baby. Dear me, what a noisy mother. Well then, we'll just have to quiet her down first. The sharp tip of a, <laughs> the sharp tip of a syringe held in the midwife's hand grit glints in the night. Hold on, sweetie. I'll put your mother at ease soon. Hmm. So how would that syringe get here? Hmm. What was that? What did you see? I explained what I saw. The delivery room and the midwife. But what was going on in there wasn't normal. There's something bugging me, though. The Kisoji pregnant woman murder story we heard from Mirahashi. The pregnant woman who was killed. The Urashima woman. Her child wasn't taken away. The midwife made it so the child was dead at birth. What? That's so awful. After she was killed by some kind of drug, she was stuffed into a suitcase and drowned in Hiroshima Lake. The midwife must have hidden the syringe since it's a murder weapon. The Hiroshima woman didn't notice? That's my guess. I mean, it was on a household altar. It's kind of difficult for a spirit to get close to one. Oh, that's interesting. Huh? There's something written on the paper that was around the syringe. Th this is... If I'm reading this right, this would be proof of a stillbirth. I guess the baby couldn't be saved. So the midwife just re reported it as... A Huh. I guess the baby couldn't be saved. So the midwife just reported it as a stillbirth? So she was so desperate for a baby that she took this one, but then it died in the end. How horrible. So who were you seeing then dying? Was it the baby or was it the... Uh... The mother... Good. The screams from the mouths pierce my brain. The tale has reached happily ever after. Don't open, don't open, don't open, don't open. Door to the tomate san tomate sanctum sanctum door two 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 has been opened opened has been opened. <laughs> Shit, it's back. Do you mean the curse? I wipe the sweat from my brow and nod. The whispers reached happily ever after. If Kakuya told the, tu the truth, I'm gonna die. Damn it, what should I do?
Well, nothing more to do here, as far as I can tell. Guess I can dive in here again. See what other needles I can fall on. Yeah. Alright, alright. I've already checked this. Nothing to do but leave, I think. We step outside to Mate Sanctum. Suddenly I'm hit by a disgusting smell carried on the night's breeze. Like something rotten or stagnant water. Ugh. I spin around. What's wrong? A voice. Did you hear a voice just now? Was there one? Oh! I just saw the Urashima woman. What? Really? Where? Where? She eagerly looks behind her. Hey, there's nothing there. Did I imagine it? No, I definitely saw something when I moved the light. <gasps> Hazuki behind you. Huh? <laughs> what? Hazuki! A completely soaked woman appears from out of nowhere right behind Hazuki. She stumbles and falls on her ass in surprise. I quickly move to stand in front of her. That thing is all wrong. All wrong. It's not right. I'll keep her occupied. Go and get the boat prepped. Oh, make sure you don't hit or kick her. There's no point against ghosts. Plus, they like to kill you if you do things like that. Whatever, just hurry up and go. Be careful. So I have to... Oh, shoot. I have to resolve this problem. There's probably going to be several ways to finish whatever happens here. And I have to resolve the problem without... Uh, like, not non-forcefully. I need to have it be... Whatever, so that the, the curse doesn't remain, or whatever that person earlier said. Right. How the hell should I buy some time? I need to keep her here as long as possible. Just need something important to the Urashiwomon. Get her attention. Think, damn it! There's no timer. Hmm. Okay, we should review what we know. Interesting. Baby, tell me. What does she want to know? Maybe one of my items will tell her what she wants to know. Kimiko Shimizu. Shimizu. Okay. It's the Hiroshima woman. What the hell do I do to her? Oh boy, there's a few options here. Um, this would probably upset her. 
<laughs> Dirty syringe might be like proof of. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I'll give the yoga book so she can give birth well. <laughs> uh, pacifier, I wonder? Can I switch to a different kind of file? No. Okay. Well, you know what? This is almost certainly the wrong thing, but here, wait a minute. Here we go, okay, here, I'm gonna look at what it says. I probably don't wanna tell her that her baby's dead. She seems like a vengeful spirit, so perhaps I want to give her, show her this uh, murder weapon, or perhaps that will like make her, in her ghostly stupor, think that we are the person who killed her. She held on to this before she died. Okay. Let's see what she's saying. Oh, get her attention. Keep her here as long as possible. Get her attention. I don't need to like do something specific. I just need to get her attention. A stillbirth certificate would do that. If I throw this. Oh, you. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Pacifier, maybe? Need to keep her distracted. Jeez, that's such a, such a bad precedent to set. Like, is he just going to throw the dirty syringe at her or the safe birth amulet or the strap? Like, I, if all he's going to do is throw things, then I, I'm not sure. Pacifier probably, like, doesn't do anything useful, right? Uh, well, what the hell? Let's throw this at her. saying my baby and I need to keep her occupied let's see maybe the pacifier then It's just going to be the, the throwing round. I need to find something I can throw at her. This is kind of lame. Oh god, it's almost 2 a.m. Uh. I may have to cut it. Cut it here. 
If I can't get through this one part in the nearish future, I'm going to have to go because at, at 2 a.m. I'm only going to give you getting like six hours of sleep. So. <laughs> it's not the cancellation of this. Be funny if I if, I'd be funny if it was the yoga book. Um, how about the dirty syringe? You no, know, she doesn't recognize it as her murder weapon or whatever. Oh boy. Well, oh, geez, this has been going for an hour and 17 minutes. Well, I'm going to have to finish up this encounter on the next video. I think it's just getting too late now, and I will. I'm gradually falling too far asleep to do this puzzle probably as well. Don't know how much longer it'll be before the next day is over, or before this day is over, so... I best just leave it there. Anyway, this this puzzle seems to be a little bit um, uh, n not the best. It seems to be not quite the best, but that's okay because I'm still really enjoying the game. Um, if you are smarter than me and want to complete this puzzle and then blaze past me all the way to the ending very quickly and satisfyingly before I can get there. By all means, do that. I would prefer if people buy the game rather than just watch people play it. Um, it's on Steam. It's called... What is this called? Spirit Hunter NG. You know, that's it. And um, I forget how much it is. It's, it's not too expensive. A lot of fun. So I will leave it there today. And uh, next video, we'll continue from where we're leaving off now.